Okay, so this is part 44, I believe it is, um, of my community site series. Um, in the last video, we were running into a little bit of a snag for the uh, videos page, um, and I took the time to figure out why it wasn't working, and it was because uh, there was a spelling difference. So in our, pro in our videos page, um, the class is called video, and in the CSS file, it's called videos, with an S on it. So we need to get rid of the S on the CSS file. So that'll that'll make it so we can actually use our styles. Um, now for the image, I'm going to set a width of about 120, 120 pixels. Um, and for the info, I'm going to set a width of about 430 pixels. Um, and the reason being is because the entire left column is only 500 and something pixels. Um, so it's like 580 pixels, I think it is. So we have to make sure we account for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the style file. Ha, huh, style file. So if we refresh the page, we now have this um, showing sort of what it should look like. Um, but then we have the problem where our images are being uh, kicked up a little bit. So we're going to fix that. So in our video, we need to add um, clear, and we want to say clear both. Dang it. Clear both. And then if we re-upload, that'll fix that problem. Uh, but what I'm going to do is on our image style, I'm going to put a margin tack bottom, and I want to put a bottom margin of about 20 pixels, so that'll space them out as well. So upload, refresh, so you can see everything is now nicely spaced out and everything, so it's all nice and neat, looks a lot lot nicer. So now that we have all of our videos being displayed um, and somewhat styled, what I'm going to do is our the description area, we're going to style the title and description area. So I'm going to copy this and paste it. So we have inside of our info we have our title and we also have the description area. So for the title what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the um, font uh, weight I think it is Maybe I spelled that wrong. There it is. Font weight. And I'm going to set the bold. So it's going to make our title text to bold. And I'm in here. Upload. So if we just refresh the page, it'll now make all this, this uh, our text here bold. So it's bold. It sticks out a little bit more. Um, but what we're also going to do is we're going to style this bottom area. <coughs> so for our description area, uh, what I'm gonna ha what I'm gonna have is we're gonna set a um, font tack size, and I'm gonna set this to about 14 pixels, so it's gonna make it smaller. Um, and I'm also gonna set a color, so we're gonna change the color of it, and we want to say hash. Um, let's try ccc ccc. So it's a dark gray color. Fresh. Oops. Okay, well, let's just click back on it. So, it didn't really appear to do very much at all. Um, let's try E E E E E E. Okay, so that's obviously too bright, or too uh, light, rather. So. Okay, so I pause and decide the color I want, so 696969, and if we upload that, it gives uh, a nice dark gray color, so just like that, um, and that's the color I'm going to stick with. Um, now what I'm going to do is we're going to add our indentation, if you will, for, uh, for our description area, so I'm going to say margin, tack, 
uh, left. And let's go with 10 pixels. <laughs> so it indents it just a little bit, and it makes it a little bit nicer. Um, but what I'm also going to do is I'm going to make this box about 5 pixels larger. So it'll get rid of uh, some of the space in between there. So just scoot all that over a little bit. Um, now what I'm going to do is after we have the description and I'm actually going to do something I'm gonna just to see what the length um, equals um, just to see what the length of or the max length of descriptions will look like inside of our box what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paste on um, our description variable a bunch of times in our videos page and then I'm gonna upload it so it'll make it uh, a larger description area so 150 pixels takes us to about right there um, so obviously that's kind of a lot so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick it down to 100 pixels and take a look at what that looks like Okay, I think that's good because uh, not only are we going to have our description here, we're going to have um, the category and the username of the person who update uploaded it, and um, maybe the date and likely the views. So, yeah. So we're going to stick with a hundred net for now. Go ahead and remove that. Um, after the description, I'm just going to put in a break tag. Um, Actually, hmm. Um, okay, so, um, whoops. So we're gonna put in a line break and another line break. And after that, I'm gonna put in a div. So div. Um, I'm gonna say style equals float colon left and then whoops and then we're gonna end the div I'm gonna duplicate the line um, I'm gonna change this one to right um, and then inside of our left area I'm gonna put the user underscore underscore name so that's the person who posted and I'm going to make it a link. So it's going to go to our site. And then profile ID equals ah, um, user underscore ID. So that'll take care of that. Um, so that's who it's posted by. And I think for now I'll say by actually no I won't um, if I upload that and refresh we now have our username of the person who posted uh, displayed and it's pretty good format um, 150 characters or 100 characters will keep us to only two lines which is good um, and then we have this to stay here so that's good um, and then on the right side over here, we're going to display our category. And below our image, we're going to display... Well, no, not below the image, never mind. Um, so inside of this right area, we're going to say category. And make sure I spell that right. I did. Upload. Refresh. So we now have our category displayed. PHP and MySQL, and I do have two in the HTML and CSS because those are uh, that these actually should not be in HTML and CSS. Okay, well I'll fix those later. Um, so everything's being displayed and everything, but the text is kind of small for this link. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a style inside of our style. We're going to say um, font. Tag size 
and 16 pixels. And I'm also going to do the same thing for the other float. So the text is a little bit larger now, uh, which is good. So that's pretty good. Um, now the only thing we're missing is the number of views that a video has. And I think what I'll do is I'll just display the views in, all, in the center. Um, so let's see. Right here, we'll put center tags. And inside, we will say views. And we'll say views, um, or the number of views, and then views. So that should be good. Okay, so after it's been uploaded, oh, my mouse isn't working. After it's been uploading, if we refresh, you can see it kind of puts it in there, but not really, because um, it kicks all of this down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out and paste it beneath everything. Upload and refresh. So now everything is on the same line. Um, now, if you want, I guess you could um, make it same size as, as this text, which uh, we might do. I guess. Nah, it'll be good. So everything has zero views right now. So if we just click on one of these, it opens up a new page, or not a new page, it loads up the next page and we have our ID set um, so if we just go back what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use some pagination to only show maybe I don't know 20 per page or something like that 20 per page I don't know we'll decide on the number so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll up here and um, Okay, so I just opened the profile page. Um, I scroll down to where we have our code for our pagination. So this stuff, I'm gonna copy it, paste it into there. I'm gonna take our next and previous variables and paste them below. Now this is just to save some time. Um, I'm also gonna grab our limit code from our query and I'm gonna paste it in our query and then I'm gonna scroll down to where we have our code to actually show the um, next and previous buttons and um, up in, inside our while loop area I'm gonna paste it in and I'm also gonna paste it in um, after the while loop so uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reverse indent this stuff. There we go. So if we upload the videos page, and if we refresh, we have a next link. So if we click it, uh, we, oh, we want to change and get rid of our comments code. We need to change our... Uh, link to our videos page and we can get rid of our ID so we just want s equals and if we re-upload now and whoops and we refresh we have our next link we click it we're showing the next previous next previous so obviously there's a little bit of problem with this, uh, and we will address those problems in the next video.